In this unit, our first grade readers will really be thinking and getting to know the characters in the fiction books that we will be exploring. The more you understand a character, the more you understand the whole book. We'll be describing characters by thinking about what they do, what they say, how they think, and how they feel. We'll also be studying characters within the same books and across books to see how they're alike and how they're different. And we'll also focus on fluency or how a character sounds when they're angry or when they're sad. In virtual school, this will look like us meeting in small groups over Zoom and reading books with different characters and really talking about them together. It will also look like us writing down our thinking about characters as we read at home and putting that on Seesaw or bringing that to our small groups. Sharing our thinking about characters and asking questions with each other is really going to help us understand better. We'll be reading lots of different books from different series like Scaredy Squirrel or Henry and Mudge. The more we become the characters, the more fun it is to read and the more we understand. Here are three ways that you might support your child at home with understanding characters more deeply in this unit. The first one we call read, learn, teach, and act. Your child will read, learn about a character, then teach you things about that character by acting things out. This can be by making a puppet show or putting on a play. It's fun if you all do it together. This is the perfect way to bring the character to life. Another idea is to start a family book club. Pick a book together or a series and set, a time a, set aside a special time each day to read and meet and talk about what you each noticed as you read the book. It's a time to share favorite parts, talk about characters, ask questions. Your child will see you as a reader just like them and make sure you are also doing the reading. Reading to your child is incredibly important. It helps model or show your child what a fluent and accurate reader sounds like. And make sure when you're reading out loud, you get into the character. If they're sad, you can appear sad. If they're excited, make your voice excited. You can take, turn reading, take turns reading parts out loud and give them some helpful tips along the way.